Hey guys, Preston here, and the Kansas City Royals have just finished the 2015 season with a record of 88 and 74. That is enough to win the division, the division over the Detroit Tigers. Here's a look at here's a look at the stats for the Royals so far. Main powerhouse guys this season will be Billy Butler and Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer had a very good amount of home runs, over 30. And their power game home runs but wasn't really the best during the season but we are looking to pick it up in future years here's going to be our next line, uh, next matchup it's going to be between the, can the against the Orioles we're going to have Kyle Zimmer on the mound for us here's going to be the Baltimore Orioles lineup as you can see very dangerous lineup with Chris Davis and Giancarlo Stan facing against Kyle Zimmer with a 16-8 record 3.73 ERA he had a very okay season he had 240 strikeouts which is very good his wins and losses were good except his ERA was a little bit high with 3.73, a little maybe 3.5. I was expecting to have during the regular season in his rookie year. Now, Owen count to the first batter. It's going to be hit two moves stop because he's going to back in that throw over first base. That will be in time, and that'll be the first out in the postseason. We're playing in game one, and we didn't win. Uh, I think we have, I think we have a better record than the Royals, so that's why we're getting home field advantage over them for the first two games or three games, whatever two games. And that batter's going to get hit. Next batter is up is going to be Chris Davis, and he's going to strike out. And now we go to the next batter, 1 2 count to Giancarlo Stanton with 2 out. He's going to strike out on the fastball. And Kyle Zimmer works out of the first inning. Here's going to be the lineup for the Kansas City Royals Aoki, Shock, Butler, Hosmer, Perez, Bustakas, Kane, Escobar, and Pedro Sirianco finishing at the order. Facing against Kevin Gosman with a 12 on 11 record, 3.18 ERA. Yeah, very good season with Baltimore this season. And 160 strikeout. That's a little bit low, but. He did have a very good ERA and, and wins and losses. Now we go full count to Aoki. And he's going to pop that up into deep center field. Adam Jones at the, is going to make the catch at the warning track. And now we go to the next batter, JB Shuck. With 1-1 one, one, one count, Gosman pitches. That's going to be hit past the second baseman into red right field for a nice base hit. And he always got the first base runner of the game. Billy Butler up to bat with no one count. Shuck on the move and Shuck and uh, Shuck is gonna move on second base. Billy Butler's gonna get a single into left field. And New Royals gonna run on first and second. No count to Eric Hosmer. And that pitch will be a hit to the second baseman for second on first. That will be an inning ending double play. We go to the top of second inning, one two count to Adam Jones. And he's gonna hit that hit that pitch into shallow right field. It's gonna be misplayed by Pedro Sirocco. And that's gonna go, drop in for a base hit. Now 0-1 count to Manny Machado. And Machado's gonna hit a deep fly ball into right field. Aoki's at the track, he's at the wall, and that one is gone. Machado gets the Orioles on top right here. They're now winning two to nothing. Machado not really known for his power, but he is he does get a very nice home run off of Kyle Zimmer. We'll go to the next batter, 1-0 count, and that pitch is gonna be hit into right field for a base hit. And Kyle Zimmer seems to be struggling right now. 2-0 count to shoot and the runner's gonna be going on a second base, and he will get there in time. Throws a little bit delayed and high. Now we're gonna the bottom of the second ending, no count, one out to Mustakas, and he's gonna hit that pitch up the middle. Second baseman's gonna field that, and the throw will not be in time. Mustakas works a nice hit, and now two out, 0-2 count. I'll see his Escobar up to bat, and Escobar is gonna hit that pitch to the third baseman, throw over, uh, throw over the second base, that will be in time, and we move on to the top of the third. 0-2 count now to, to the bat, it's going to be a swing and a miss on the fastball. Kyle Zimmer seems to be rolling now. Had a rough start, but he's working, he's working his way now. Chris Davis up to bat, 3-2 count, and it's going to be a strike three call taken. Now we go 2-2 count to Giancarlo Stanton, and that's going to be a swing and a miss on the 100 mile per hour fastball, and Kyle Zimmer strikes out the side. Now we go to the bottom of the third inning, 1-0 count, J.B. Shuck up to bat, and he's going to hit that pitch into center field, but that will be caught by Adam Jones, and I'll do it for the Rows. Top of the fourth inning, two outs, full count to the batter, and it's going to be a chopper hit to Kyle Zimmer. Throw over the first base, so that will be in time. And offenses have been quiet for both teams so far. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning, two outs, 1-2 count to Salvador Perez. And Perez is going to that pitch to Shoop, who's going to throw a first base. So they'll be in time. And the Royals have yet to score any runs or do anything really productive ever since the first inning. Only three hits from the Royals. Just nothing really going on for them. 
We go to the top of the fifth inning, two outs, two two count to the batter, and it's going to be hit up the middle past the diving Pedro Siriaco into center field for a base hit. Next batter up, no count, two outs. Kyle's number sets and the pitch. The runner's going to go for a second base, and he's going to be gunned out by Salvador Perez. That's going to get out of the inning, and now we go to the bottom of the fifth inning, two outs, one one count, and that's going to be lined right at Chris Davis. And once again, the Royals go down one, two, three. Full count to the batter, and it's going to be a high for a ball four. Kyle Zimmer seems to be losing a bit of his control and accuracy now. Chris Davis up 0-1 count and it's going to be hit to Escobar. Takes his time and all the runners will be safe. Now Kyle Zimmer will be in a bit of a jam. He runs on first and second. 0-2 count to Adam Jones. And he's going to hit that pitch into right field. Ake is going to come firing to home plate. And there will be no play. Bases will be loaded. And Ron Reineke has seen enough of Kyle Zimmer. He's going to take him out of the game. And he's going to bring in Aaron Crow. He's been very good for us in the season so far. Trusted man in the bullpen. And let's even get out of his bases loaded. One out jam. Full count. One out. Two. Manny Machado. And the pitch from Crow. Be a strike. Three. Just taking that pitch high. Now we got two outs. Next batter. Full count. And the pitch from Crow will be hit to Eric Hosmer. Who will step on the first base. And Aaron Crow breaks out of the jam. Of the bases loaded. And he keeps the rows in this game. They still trail 2-0. JB Shuck will be up in the bottom sixth inning in the first pitch. He's going to hit that pitch into right field, or right center field. Now dropping for a base hit, and let's see if the Royals can get something going right here. Billy Butler up with a 2 2 count. And the pitch will be taking for a strike three call. Butler looking, striking out looking. And once again, the Royals go down and have yet to actually score a run. 1 2 count, two outs to the better, and Pitch from Crow will be hit into center field. Lorenzo Kane is there to make the catch, and I'll do it for the Orioles. We go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Full count to Eric Hosmer. And Hosmer is going to rip a pitch into deep center field. Adam Jones is going to the track. He's at the wall, and he can't make the play. Eric Hosmer, he's going to run second base. He's going to go to third, and the throw will be late. Eric Hosmer works in a stand up triple. Let's see what Moustakas can do. One out, one bun count. And the pitch. Moustakas is going to hit that pitch into deep right field. And Eric Cosmer, he's going to be attacking from third base. The catch will be made at the warning track. Cosmer scores easily, and the Royals get their first run on the board. They now trail 2 to 1. Enter Lewis Coleman, who's been all right toward the season. He's just iffy. I mean, he had sub 3 or 4 ERA. Just not really the best, but he is going to give the job to him right here. Gets an easy out right there. Now 2-2 two, two count to Chris Davis, and it's going to be a swing and a miss in the slider, so Coleman breaks two quick outs. And let's see if he can get the third one. Giancarlo Stanton will be up in there to count, and it'll be a swing and a miss on the slider. Coleman works a nice 1-2-3 inning, and keeps the Royals in this game for maybe a nice comeback right here. 2-1 count now to Pedro Siriaco is going to hit a deep, a shallow ball into center field. It's going to be fielded by Yam Jones, and here comes Darren O'Day. And let's see if he can close out the world right here. The world is looking to make a comeback rally right here. 2-0 count now to Aoki with one out. And it's going to be a submarine pitcher, and Aoki is going to ground out to second base on the first, and it'll be a inning, inning double play. Not looking good for the Royals so far. Let's see if they can change it right here. They only trail by run at this point. Through one count now. Manny Machado, he's going to take a nice walk right there from Lewis Coleman. Now next batter, we up with a 3-1 count, two outs. And it's going to be another walk. So back-to-back -back walks for the Orioles. Runners are going to be on the first and second. One, two count, two shoop. And the pitch from Coleman will be hit to Eric Hosmer, who will field it cleanly. Step on the first base, and that will do it for the Orioles. We go to the bottom line inning. Jim Johnson will enter the game. Really, he's been an iffy pitcher. He's known for blowing a lot of saves. But he is known for getting a lot of saves. So we'll see how it goes for here. No count. JB Shuck's going to be up. And he's going to get this game or this inning started with a nice hit into left field. Now we got Billy Butler off with a 1 1 count. And Billy Butler is going to swing that pitch. And he's going to be hit into right field for a nice base hit. And Marlins are going to be on first and second. Now, with one out, no count to Salvador Perez. And the pitch from Johnson. Perez is going to swing that pigeon. It's going to be a high fly ball into foul territory. 
Chris Davis didn't make the catch, and there will be two outs. Worlds are down to the last out. One out count, two moves. Stock is maybe coming the clutch, but he's going to hit a deep fly ball into center field. Adam Jones, he's going he's to just go right before the warning track, and that will do it. Worlds will drop game one of the ALDS. Not a very good start to the series, and let's see if the Royals make a comeback. So, if you guys like the video, video subscribe, I'll comment, I'll comment stuff more videos, mechanics, you guys, and video, comment below. So, that's pretty much guys, me, so much present. I'll see you guys later, so see ya.